What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode. And in today's video, we're taking a look at someone who's no stranger to controversy, AKA Tyler, the creator, and some of his most controversial merch ever released. Now, before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to the homie Strain Beats, who's been cooking up the beats for these videos. So make sure you guys check them out. And while you're here, you might as well drop a like and subscribe and join our free discord to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest. Shout out to all of my chefs in there. And speaking of my chefs, I wanted to shout out the following for helping recommend this video and my dog Ecstasy for helping me source the images on this one. Now, if you've been a fan of Felicia the Goat, I mean Tyler the Creator at all throughout his career, you've probably seen him in multiple different eras, both stylistically as well as musically. And while he certainly mellowed out and matured over the last couple of years, there's no denying that shock value was a big part of his brand at the beginning. So with that said, I guess it's really no surprise that Tyler would go on to ruffle some feathers throughout his career and even piss some people off with his merch. Which brings us to the first piece of merch in this video, releasing all the way back in 2015. In the form of the following shirt, which is of course critical of none other than Donald Trump who became President of the United States at the time. With Tyler's opinion on the matter seemingly being we effed up as you guys can see under Trump's portrait. Now as far as the release itself, fans of course had the opportunity to pick up this Adolf Drump shirt directly from Odd Future's website. And just because I was curious, especially given the most recent shooting, you can actually find some of these still floating around on eBay. So if this is a cop or drop for you, let me know in the comments. Now additionally, Tyler's history with Trump actually goes back further to 2013 in which he photobombed him, along with Taco, another member of Odd Future, for the following hilarious photo. And just as a side note for all of my Yay fans, I found this hilarious while researching this topic that Tyler was allegedly supposed to be on TurboGrafx-16, which we know of course would never see the light of day. Now, similarly in 2013, Tyler would also create some backlash within his own camp for the following blackface merch, which I want to touch base on before diving into it. Because the historical context for blackface usage in media and everything outside of it has deeply rooted ties to racism over the last 200 years. So I can definitely see where the members of Odd Future were coming from when they were calling him out and beefing with him because of it as they were making the argument that he was basically being irresponsible with his merch. As many of their fans were white and it would be crazy to see them wearing blackface. Now this next piece was titled a KKK golf wang piece and as you can see from the description, the kid selling it was only able to wear it about half the day at school before being asked to turn the shirt inside out. And it was in 2015 that Tyler would go on to make some more controversial headlines with the following merch as he took the logo of a popular neo-Nazi group and basically turned it into a pride piece, which I think is a cool F you to Nazis. Now fast forwarding to 2021, we also saw the release of this no hands tee which depicts Jesus of course on the cross as well as riding a bike and while that one might not be the most controversial, you know how touchy religious subjects can get. Now additionally throughout the years we also saw Golf Wang with the following sexual education shirt which is of course inspired by FTP's Columbine version of the tee, super edgy I know. And throwing things back even further to 2011, we of course have one of Odd Future's first merch drops which features the following Christmas themed piece which you can imagine definitely got some people talking and might have gotten some fans in trouble if you wore that one at school. And seemingly if he wasn't making headlines for his music videos and merch, Tyler would make some headlines with the following infamous mugshot as he was arrested for allegedly inciting a riot at the South by Southwest festival. I genuinely think it was blown out of proportion because as you can see from the footage, it honestly wasn't that crazy. And while a bit unrelated, it was a combination of these arrests, riots, and lyrics from previous years that Tyler would actually be banned from performing in several different countries throughout the world, so I think it's pretty crazy to see just how far he's come. Now like I mentioned earlier in the video, shock value was definitely a big part of Tyler's early career and helped propel him as well as open some doors with the crazy headlines he was drawing. And when I look back at his career at this point, I think it's honestly so cool where you can see the definitive eras that he went through and how he matured with each of those experiences. 
So the fact that he went from eating roaches for shock value and drawing donuts on his school notes to designing his own brands and even collabing with Louis Vuitton, I think it's safe to say that Tyler the Creator is definitely a legend and super talented. Now if you're interested in some more Tyler related content, I did cover the Flower Boy merch era so I'll go ahead and link that one in the description. Now if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching and I'd love to know what you guys think about this one in the comments. I'm not gonna lie, there were some other provocative pieces that I had to leave out of this video because YouTube is pretty sensitive and I didn't want this video to get taken down. However, I think it's safe to say that Tyler was able to successfully use the shock value and definitely grow his own brand into something much more powerful. As always guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen. Let me know what you guys would like to see me cover next. Please remember to stay safe out there guys, the world's too crazy as it is. And as always, remember, it's lit. Straight up! <laughs> Peace.